Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Delaney. I love thrifting, home decor, I have a very bohemian style. I love plants, my cats, all the good stuff, and welcome to my channel. Today's video is probably the biggest thrift haul that I've ever done. And that's saying a lot because I do a lot of thrift hauls, but guys, I'm saying it right now. This is probably, okay, I don't know about the biggest, but it is the best, like the best thrift haul I've ever brought you guys. So get ready because it's gonna be good. I have a lot of good stuff. I've been collecting this stuff for two weeks, I think. Um, it's not that I've been trying to make a massive haul, it's just that I haven't really had time to film it yet. So that is good luck for you guys because that means you're gonna get a huge haul. Okay, this haul is so big that I pretty much had to organize it by category just to make this video go smoothly. So we are gonna start with baskets, everybody's favorite category. I have been cleaning all of these baskets, so I took the tags off, so I might not remember the prices, um, but usually baskets are 99 cents. Um, at the most, I'll pay is like $1.99 usually. Um, and I wanted to tell you guys too, a way that I've been cleaning my baskets lately, because I do get asked a lot, um, I take them out in the yard and I spray them off with the hose, just like on the strongest setting. But I always start out slow, just so I know I'm not gonna break the wicker pieces. And then if I'm feeling really, really motivated, I will put them in like a plastic tub filled with soap and water and let them soak rinse them off again and then let them dry in the sun because the heat from the sun also will kill some bacteria and germs and things like that. Oops, sorry, something just fell. Um, but yeah, that's basically what I've been doing and I've really liked it so far. I think it's gotten rid of smells or, you know, anything like that. If you see some movement, it's my cats. They have to be in every single video. Um, so first up, you guys have probably heard me say this, but I am building a bunch of different basket walls for people to sell on my Poshmark, which is linked down below. So I just picked up some basic baskets. Um, nothing too crazy special about any of these, but I did love, I tried to pick up a bunch of different shapes and colors. So I grabbed both of these. I really like them together. I think they're going to be really cute for a basket wall. Same with this one. I just try to look for, um, you know, like I said, different shapes, different colors, anything that's unique, but also subtle because you want to mix in a variety of different types of baskets. You want to mix in really cool ones with some more plain ones, just so it's not overwhelming. Um, I love picking up these baskets for basket walls just because of all the holes. So I grabbed this one. And then here is another one that I grabbed. Again, it's just got a cool detail. I always like to pick it up and look at it from this way, especially if I'm doing a basket wall because that will really give you a good idea of how it's gonna look. This is something that you can find at a lot of thrift stores, at least I find them a lot. I don't always pick them up, but it's just a set of four. I think that people used to use these to put plates on as like a plate carrier. At least that's what I've always thought they were. Um, but these are great to pick up for basket walls, like I said. I also got this little guy. I've actually been searching for one of these for a long time. It is a tissue holder, so you just put in those longer skinny tissue boxes and then pull the tissues out the top here. I just think it's so cute and so pretty. I love having tissues around, obviously, and the boxes are usually pretty ugly, so this will be super cute to have. Next is a set of two baskets, one smaller, one bigger. You can use this for so many things. This would definitely be great in a pantry, um, and I'm going to be listing these on my Poshmark as well. You'll have a lot of baskets to go, guys. Um, I love picking up these baskets. A lot of times, um, it just has a little lid here, but a lot of times I've noticed, I don't know if it was um, one company that made it, but there's usually something really gaudy, like fake flowers, a fake little bird or something glued on the top of these baskets, but I usually buy them anyways because anything that's hot glued on a basket usually comes off pretty easily. So I always pick these up. I find that people love to buy them and they're just great because you can literally put anything in them. Next up is this basket. I just loved the light color, the coiling detail. So I picked this little guy up. Again, you could do anything with this. You could put this on a basket wall, but it is pretty deep. So it may not be the best basket for that. 
but there are plenty of other uses. Next is this, it's not really a basket, it's more of a plant holder. Um, when I bought this, it was a dark chocolate brown, and like I've told you guys before, I'm just not a huge fan of really dark wicker, um, just for my own personal style. Um, but I found this at the thrift store and I got some spray paint and painted it this little khaki color. Um, the spray paint is by Rust-Oleum and the color is khaki and that's a great way to repaint wicker a more natural wicker color. I know that it's not perfect but especially from far away it does look really good. And I actually had a plant right over here that I just wanted to go ahead and put in here just to show you guys. This would be so beautiful hanging in a corner of a room or just even sitting on a shelf. Obviously this plant doesn't fit perfectly but that's what I just had right there to grab. So I love this. I'm going to be putting this up on my Poshmark. Okay, I'm realizing this is going to be a really long video. I hope that's okay with you guys. But I did ask you on my Instagram and you said most of you preferred a long video versus a short video for this one. So I'm just going to make it all one video. Saving the three coolest baskets for last. You guys have seen me pick these up a lot. Um, this one was just really pretty. It had all of these vibrant colored vegetables on it. Um, you can put a Pyrex in here. This one doesn't come with one. Um, but I feel like a lot of people just have a clear baking dish that they could use this with. So I will be putting this one up on my Poshmark. I love how unique this one is. Okay, these ones are so cool. I know that I said I mostly spend $1.99 or less for baskets, but I saw these at our local thrift store and they were I think labeled at five dollars each and I asked her if she would do five for both of them and she said yes um, just because there is a lot of damage on them they are super cool super unique you can tell that they're very old but this is the first one it is so beautiful it does have I don't know if you can see those two holes right there it does have two holes and it's missing its loop right here as well as here um, I really wish that this was in perfect condition because it is such a beautiful basket but I do think that when it's up on a basket wall with a bunch of other baskets you won't even be able to tell so I'm still going to be listing it and I just think it is so cool this last basket is my absolute favorite again it does have I think two spots of damage but it's just a really delicate basket and you can tell that it's really old so i'm happy with the condition that it's in this is a beautiful almost star shaped basket i just oh my gosh i love the detail i feel like i have not seen baskets like this i know that they definitely don't make them like this anymore um it does have one flaw here it's just hanging down like that but if someone really wanted to they may be able to glue it back on i'm not sure but again i think hanging up this would still just be such a beautiful feature on a basket wall and if you hang it like this this little flaw just hangs back in place and it looks good as new okay that is it for the baskets i'm moving on to some handbags purses i love showing you guys different accessories that i pick up and the first one I got, I paid, it says $4.99, but I think this one was half off, so I paid like $2.50. It is this beautiful crocheted bag. It's got some wood details here. I love that. This is going to go up in my Poshmark, but I just love how neutral this is, and I feel like this is just the perfect little bag. The next bag was probably donated by the same person, and again, this one was $4.49, but half off. Um, it's another crocheted bag here with the wood detailing and it has this is like a Like a peachy pink color Super beautiful. I love crocheted bags. I think they are so adorable, especially with like a sundress Sun hat they just complete the outfit the next three bags are Vintage bags that have come back in style and I'll be putting these up for sale on my depop because I know People are looking for bags like this right now. The first one is this vintage guest bag. I love the pink faux crocodile and it's just an adorable little shoulder bag and shoulder bags, little shoulder bags are very in right now. So picked up this little guy and this one was $4.49 I believe. Usually all the purses at my Goodwills are 
four dollars bag is this little faux Burberry print. I'm not gonna try to sell it as a real Burberry or anything like that Probably not even gonna use that in the listing I just thought it was pretty and I really like the neutral colors and it's just a nice little handbag So I'm sure somebody will pick this up. The last purse is super cool. My favorite find out of the bags It is a polo jeans purse by Ralph Lauren and it is from the 90s but it does still have its tags, which I always love. That's called dead stock. If you didn't know, if something is vintage and still has its tags, it's called dead stock, just so you know. Um, but I think this is so pretty. I love the little pink color. It's gonna be such a cute bag for someone. Okay, this next item I got for $2.99 from Goodwill. It came with its original box, which I love. I just think that's so sweet. And it helps you to know a little bit more about the company and where it came from and things like that. I always find that pretty interesting. It's brand new, which is super cool. I feel like you don't find that very often. It is a Apple Jack and Peel Copper Simmer Pot. And it's just a pretty little copper pot and it has the gold detailing on the side here. It was made in Taiwan and it is brand new, never used, so that is always a plus. I've been picking up a lot of glass pieces lately just to sell on Facebook Marketplace or, you know, to keep for myself around my house. Um, if they're small items, I will still put them on Poshmark, but so many times now I've tried to ship glass items and no matter how well it's wrapped up or bubble wrapped, it always seems to break, so I'm giving glassware on selling it online a break just because I don't want to deal with things breaking. It's so sad. These ones, however, are pretty small, so I'll probably put them on my Poshmark. I paid $1.99 each. They are just these beautiful little heart-shaped amber glass ring dishes. Um, it's kind of like a, it would be like a cute his and her thing on some nightstands, so I picked those up. Next is this beautiful amber glass dish. It has, it's hard to tell with my hand in the back, but it's got this sunflower detail on either side on the back here. I paid $1.99 at Goodwill and I love picking up amber glass. I think it's so beautiful. I know that was really big in the 70s, 80s, maybe 90s, I don't know, but it's making a comeback, people. The next thing I got is this really pretty green glass. I never know what to call these. Please, please tell me. It's like a, an elevated bowl I don't know but I just love them you can put candy in them your keys in them whatever they're just easy to decorate with and I paid $2.99 for this oh this actually says the date on it how cool it says 1975 so that is a good find the next thing I got I paid $2.99 at Goodwill for it is just a really pretty bowl i love picking up wood pieces i think that they just add so much to a space i have a lot of wood in my house and this would be great as a key bowl it would be great as in your center of your table to put some like lemons in or something to be bougie but i love this i'm also filming this at like four o'clock so if the light is changing right here on my window that would be why Next up, this is really one of the coolest things that I've ever found. It is a set of three of these absolutely stunning butterfly canisters. Each canister is different. This one is the biggest. These two canisters are the same size, but they are different. This one is another pretty butterfly and flowers. And this is like a yellow color with some speckling in it. It is just gorgeous. And the last canister of the set is this pretty guy. I took the tags off of those already, but I'm pretty sure the two smaller ones were $3.99 and the larger one was $4.99, but that is so worth it because those are so unique and I feel like just really hard to find in a set like that. All right, guys, I know this is long, but you guys wanted a long one and stick around because I did find a really, really cool furniture find and I'm so excited to show you guys hint there is two of them next item is this beautiful wood little cutting board christmas tree i need to clean off the sticky stuff here i paid 99 cents for this i love picking up christmas decor no matter the time of the year just because if i wait until around christmas it's usually picked over so if i see something neutral and pretty like this that fits into my vibe then i will pick it up i picked up these two salt and pepper shakers 
Um, the tags came off, but I'm pretty sure that these were 99 cents each. Um, it's just a set of butterflies. I love, I just love how they used to put butterflies with flowers. It just is so beautiful and all the vibrant colors. So I do pick up butterfly stuff a lot just because I think a lot of people like it too. The next couple items are all going to be brass, trying to keep it all organized here. Um, I always pick up brass candlestick holders. This one doesn't have a price. Here's another one. This one was $1.50. It does need cleaned up a little bit, but I love putting them together in a set and selling them that way. Here is another one, and I think I kind of made a mistake with this one. I'm not 100% sure it's brass. It does have a lot of weird tarnishing that I've never seen on it before, so I'm going to try to clean that up and see if that is real, black, real brass. This one was $1.50, and I love these because you can put regular candles on them now, and it fits really well. The last brass candlestick is this really short one. It's just got a little opening there. I paid 99 cents for this little guy. Next brass item, I did actually pay up for this. It was $5.99. Maybe I got it half off or something, but still, it's super cool. It is this heavy-duty brass duck. I love picking up brass pretty much anything and I love all the different shaped animals. I know that there are a lot of people who collect different types of animals so I always love picking those up. The last two brass items I got I paid $1.99 each. Um, they are just these tiny little mortars. You guys told me that in the last video that that's what they were called um, that you can obviously smash things up with but I loved these. These were so small and they have a bunch of faces on them i'm not sure if it's a lion face or an egyptian face but i thought they were super cool nonetheless i picked up these absolutely stunning mid-century modern candlesticks um they are real wood and just so beautiful you can tell that they're really good quality really old i love these so much i can't wait to sell these because i'm sure that somebody will really really like these in their home um or I might keep them. I don't know. You never know with me. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I'll sell it. I'll sell it. And then I put it in a spot in my home just to see. And I end up loving it and keep it. <laughs> I made $1.49 for each of these. The next three items, I got three sets of glasses. I love picking up drinking glasses if they're in a set. And these kind of go with the butterfly theme I was telling you guys about. I was really sad because there are only three of them. I wish that it was a full set of four, but I'll take what I can get. Um, let's see. I hope you guys can see these details. Look at these beautiful butterfly glasses. I know it's hard to see with the glare, but they just have beautiful butterflies all around with these brown flowers and twigs. They are just so, so beautiful. There are three of them and they're all the same. I just think that this was such a fine. The next set of glasses are just plastic glasses. They have kind of a amber look to them. They are vintage and I did like that they were plastic and they have a fun, unique shape. Got a total of six of these and I believe that I paid 50 cents per cup. The next set of glasses I paid 69 cents for and there are a total of six. I'm not gonna bring them all out because they are pretty fragile, but I got these beautiful green glasses. I love these so much. These would be so amazing on a bar cart or some open shelves in your kitchen. I have four more of my bigger items, and then I am going to take you guys to my garage to show you my amazing furniture find. If you guys follow me on Instagram, which you should by the way, you probably already saw a sneak peek, but you guys will die. These are so cool and like my mid-century dream. This item I got for $1.49 at Goodwill. It is definitely a very unique item, but super cool. It is this, it's got wood on the outside and like a woven wicker kind of jute material. And it's literally a giant spoon. Like, look how large this is compared to me. This would be so beautiful in a kitchen. I wish there was like a matching fork to it, but how cool is this? I've literally never seen something like this. I'm sure that you can find it on the internet, but I just thought this was so cool. And I am gonna try to sell this on Poshmark, 
but I need to try to find a box first just because it is so large that it would be hard to ship. It's really light, but it is a really long shape. Next item is this really pretty wicker little paper organizer. This would be so great at a desk to put files in. Um, you could really organize any sort of papers, pictures, anything. It is so pretty. This would even be great for someone who loves art, putting their art in here. I just thought this was really cool and it's in really great condition. So I picked that up. Last two items I'm going to show you besides the furniture find are two vintage gold mirrors. I love picking up gold mirrors. I think that they are so beautiful and you will see like anthropology and all of those places doing gold mirrors as well. The that are very vintage inspired so I definitely picked these up right away when I saw them. This one was $5.99. It is this really pretty gold square mirror. Trying not to just show you your reflection here um, but I loved the gold detailing on it. It's super super pretty. Um, this one Oh, okay. This one is not vintage. I didn't really look that much into it but I just thought it was pretty. Um, this one is from Family Dollar. Cool. I didn't know if they would have something like this there, but this is super heavy duty, really, really pretty. So I picked that up. This last one is probably my favorite. I did kind of pay up for it. I paid $15, but it is just such a statement piece and so worth it. Um, I'm going to be doing redoing an office space really soon for myself. Um, and I think I'm going to be putting this in that office. So stay tuned because in that little office makeover, I'm going to be using a lot of thrifted pieces to decorate with. So I'll definitely film it and take you guys along that journey. Here it is. It is so beautiful. I love all the detailing. It's just so, so pretty. It's got such a cute gold color. It's not like that bright cheesy gold. It's a very kind of vintage looking gold. I'm not 100% sure if this mirror is vintage. The um, stuff on the outside here is plastic, which is nice because it makes it more lightweight to hang. Um, it does seem old, but I'm not really sure. I just picked it up because I really, really loved it. And I think this is going to look so good in my space. Okay, let me take you guys to my garage to show you my favorite furniture find in a really, really long time. Um, my garage is just, you know, an old, dusty, gross garage. So I apologize that it probably won't be the best lighting or anything, but I just haven't brought the pieces inside yet. And I don't really have room for them right now. So they're in my garage for a bit until I reevaluate what I'm gonna be doing with them. Okay, here they are. Like I said, ignore my gross old garage. Um, they're just hanging out in here for now. I did clean them already, but obviously I'll clean them again better. I didn't really clean them that well, but look at these. I know it's probably hard to tell. Look at these beautiful mid-century shelves. They have the original black glass. I know, I'm sorry guys, it's it's really hard to tell what's going on here because of all the lighting, but the glass is black and I will insert a picture here. Hopefully it's a better picture so you can get an idea, but I just love the shelves. They go like this all the way down. Um, I'll insert the name of like the style of furniture. Um, there's a shelf that looks really similar. That's all gold and I'll insert that name here but i love these so much it's wood with some gold detailing and the black glass these are going to be so beautiful one day just against a white wall the bunch of different colored glassware can you guys picture it it's gonna look so good that is it for today's video. I hope that you liked all my finds. This has definitely been my favorite haul in a really long time. Let me know down below what was your favorite and please, please, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. That really helps my channel. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Bye guys.